Hey, what's up, people? So today I'm going to show you how you can create tile maps using a sprite. So before we begin, I just want to show you how it works. So this is a simple example. You can see here I have a few tile sets and each time you could just click on a art asset here and you can use that to paint around and use it to build your level. And basically pretty much that's how I was able to build this basic, basic level. And some things you could do are things like when you're in the tile map mode, you can modify existing tiles. So basically what this means is if I have this selected and you can actually see that we're on tile map mode here, because at the bottom, you can see your left or right select brushes. If I click modify existing tiles and I go to say my pencil tool like that, and let's pick this yellow color. If I click this, any other tile I have in the scene that's using this tile will have this yellow spot. You can actually see that here. The other one, which is modify and reuse existing tiles. If I click on this and I draw this yellow dot, it's going to create a new tile. So we can actually see it here. If you hold control, you'd actually see the tile and tile numbers. So what I'll do is to just bring back my uh, layers here and I'll just try to get rid of the sky so we can just clearly see what I'm talking about. So if I hit control, you can actually see the tile numbers and they're numbered based on the sequence. And we are going to, are going to create this from scratch. So just uh, don't worry, I'm not just going to explain and then not show you how we can build this from scratch. So uh, yeah, so if we use this modifier, we use existing tiles, it's going to create a new version of that tile and then you can work with that new version. So if I go back here and select this one, you can see this one doesn't have that dot. Well, if I select this, you can see this one has that yellow dot. Now this one is the, you have to be, <laughs> you have to be really, really careful when you use this one because it's crazy. This is don't modify generate and stack new tiles automatically. So I'll just click on this and let's say I will click on this to go out of the tile set mode and go to edit mode. I'll just hit the eraser and say, I want to create a version of this. If I erase this section here, that's a new tile. If I cut out a hole here, that's a new tile. If I get rid of this, that's another new tile. So if I click on the show tile set and I click on this and make sure you're not on the eraser but on the pencil tool you can see what happens here I have a tile set with some holes on it and it's just creating those versions that just modify right now yeah so let's just build something from scratch and I'll show you how it works so to do that let's just go to file new and I'll do a 16 by 16 pixel, like so. Let's we'll hit OK. So we have a brand new empty tile right now. So let's just create something. I want to create a platform, right? So I'll just make sure it tiles on the X axis. So I'm going to go to view and under tiled mode, I'm going to say tiled in X axis. And I'll just create a very basic dirt tile like that. So I'll just start creating some nice little shapes like that. Not really worried or concerned. I'm going to create big ones. I'm going to create small ones. And sorry, I'm not using my Wacom. I'm using my mouse and it's very clicky. Really sorry about that. So I'm just quickly going to, and in fact, we can just use G and hit that to fill spaces. So G is your bucket tool. So I'll hit B to go back to the brush. And let's just, so I'll hit G and fill this here. And let's just try, whoops. So yeah, that's one problem. Let me use the bucket tool. So let's just fill this edge here like that. Hit G, quickly fill up the space. And I'm just going to keep doing that till I have most of this space completed. So G, hit that, hit B. And yeah, I could fairly say that I know this this here is kind of like weird. So I'll use the eraser tool around here and I'll use the B 
and just fill out this edge. Like that. I think it's weird here. So I don't want anything that looks sort of repetitive, even though all those elements have repetitive elements on them. So yeah, I think I'm happy with this one. What I can do next is add a little shadow and lighting to this just to make it uh, stand out. And also I'd like to fill up that uh, space there at the background. So what I'll do is just shift N. Uh, remember we haven't actually started creating our tail maps yet. Now let's make the spinning darker. Sorry, not the alpha. Just here and just drag this down. And I should set this to just go over here. And I'll just do this. I think this is the default. So I'll just leave it at the A sprite default. So I'll use G. I'm just I just want to fill this. Background really darker color. I think I messed with the alpha. I'll just do full alpha and just fill this and I'll drag this layer down like that just so I have a little background. In fact, we can even make this slightly dark just to show it's a. Uh... Oh, yeah, let's just, just use this, this one and see if that makes sense. It doesn't. I'll just switch back to the brown and just make this a bit dark. Here, I'm wasting too much time on this. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is much better because we can see from the preview it makes more sense. All right, cool. So let's add some lighting to this guy and I'll just use a monochromatic uh, palette and I'll just move around here. That's going to be my light source. So I'll do shift and make sure this light and push this up a bit. Yeah, so this is going to be our lighting. Let's not really spend too much time on this. Let's add a little bit of lights coming from the left of our shape. I'm going this large one like that. And we can actually see how it's working around here. Just have fun, nothing to... Uh, and I want to make the lighting consistent, so it's going to be coming from like the left, so that I can add my shading from here. I think that's totally awesome. So for the shading, we don't want to go for a very dark color like this one. So we'll just push this up slightly a bit. Anyway, here I think that's fine. So let's use the brush tool and let's just add some of that shading down there. In a few minutes, we'll be over, so uh, we'll be over soon. Yeah. yeah, I think I like how this one actually came up. So this is going to be a tile, and we can just run away from the tile mode and say, uh, say none. So this is going to be our base tile. So how do we create the tile map? So what I'll do is to group. Oh, I'll just merge this entire layer. So I'm going to go to layer, flatten down, layer, merge down. And I'll just call this cave underscore rocks like that. So I'll create a new document. I'll set this to 192 by 192. And what I'll do is just right click here and say uh, convert to a tile map. You could also do go to layer and say new and you can do a new tile map. So all this is going to work as well. You can create a name and you can set the size of the grid. Now we knew this was 16 by 16 and you can press C to see your canvas size. So this is a 16 by 16 document. So I'll just close that and I'll also use the uh, rectangular marquee tool. Excuse me. <clears throat> and I'll just grab this and select this area. And basically what I want to do, I hit control C. So basically what I want to do is just copy this and go back 
to this. Make sure I'm on this layer and just paste this. And we'll just zoom in. You can see we have this guy right here. I'll just drag this. You can use the move tool and just drag this guy right here. I'm just zooming in with the scroll wheel. And I'm just trying to make this guy snap to the center like that. So now you can see we have this guy snapped to the center. If we click on this tile and make sure you're on the brush tool, I'll just hit B and you should actually see it, you know, up here. And we could just do things like click over here and begin to create our, you know, our tiles like that. And just clicking and just like that. So sometimes it's a bit confusing for me. So what I'd like to do is just go to view and go to show grid this just helped me you know it helps tell me where things are and what i want to do is to create like that sort of nine tile feel to erase you can click this empty one and just click and erase everything here or you can just go to the eraser and you can click and erase anything if i press b i'll get back to my drawing and make sure you select your tile and you can paint your tile with the drawing tools so like i showed you in the last example if i go here and I want to modify and you reuse an existing tile. So that's how you can create a new tile. So I'll just select a color and just click on this. Now I have a new tile here. Or what I want to do is just erase this tile. So I'll just go here and just slightly erase. Now I have a new one. And then I'll go back and say modify existing tiles. So what I want to do is just paint this so i'll use i to sample this color press b and make this brush a bit large and just paint over like that oops it's spilling out i don't want it to spill out so i'll just set this to the size of like uh two and just paint around here oops it's actually spilling out again well we could just make this easy i'm going to use the marquee tool and I'll just select this section here and I'll use G and just fill everywhere. Or we can now even use our brush, increase the size and just paint over everything here. All right. So this is going to be our like uh, center piece. And then if we want to do our top uh, edges, so I'll go over here. And then go over here and say modify and reuse existing tiles. So I'll hit the eraser and I'll just erase this section like that. So now we have a new tile for the left size, left side. So I'll do the same thing here. So now if I hit control, you can see we have our tile one. Our tile two is our center tile. And our tile tree is going to be our top left, you know, our tiles. We can create the bottom and corner tiles as well. And you can use that to just uh, start playing around and see how it looks like. So if I go back to modify existing tiles, I can just click on any of our tiles here. So I'll click on this center tile. And that's tile number one is the first one. So I'll just go over here and then start testing out the level. It's on eraser, so it has to be on pencil. And you can just see, we could just draw this like that. We can click on tile number three. So this is one, two, three for this edge. And tile number four for this edge. And we can even do the, uh, you know, bottom corner tiles if you want. And basically, yeah, that's how you can play around with the tile map. You can have multiple tile map layers. For example, I can just call this the uh, the ground. I will just call this uh, Rocky Dungeon. All right, so that's our Rocky Dungeon. I will just create a new layer. So I'll just go to the layer, go to new, new tile map layer, and let's just call this grass. So you can see what happens now. So Rocky Dodger is going to be at the bottom and grass is going to be at the top. And we're going to have separate, you know, tile sets. You can create as much as these as you want. 
and you can use that to draw your tiles. And you can now add things like your decor. So I'll do Shift N to create a new layer. And I'll just move this to the, oops. I'll undo that. Just want to move this to the top. My mouse is acting funny. I'll just drag this to the top. And we can do stuff like create, uh, let's call this BG for our background. And it should be at the bottom. Like that. And for the background, I'll just use a nice little sky color. Hit G and then fill that background. Now G is our, uh, our paint bucket tool. So now we have a little background. We could always change it if we want. Yeah, I think this is giving it some kind of nice little retro vibe. So now we can go to the grass layer and we'll just start creating some nice, oops. I always forget when I uh, switch that. I'll set the brush size to one. We just have a little nice little variation for our grass. Oh, okay, it's weird. So now what we can do is just start painting this grass like everywhere. We just paint it and put it everywhere we want. We can modify this. So let's go to this one. And let's just add one more. So now we have grass style too. So this is grass style one, and this is grass style two. And you can see how we could just, you can select this empty one and just clear, clear this. So yeah, so that's how you can use the tile map system. The only uh, little setback I have with this is because you can't comfortably, you might actually do this. You, you can decide to work comfortably within one document, but because of the tiling feature, you might want to make sure that your tiles are actually tiling properly. And you can set it to uh, tiled in. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. You can set it to be tiled in both the vertical and the horizontal axis, like that. So that when you're creating the tile, you can, it actually helps in creating a very good seamless uh, tile. I'll show you a quick example of something that I have done recently. I think I call this the alien. I believe it's this one. And you can actually see how I kind of like did this. It's pretty much the same thing. I just pick this and use that to draw, you know, the tiles. And they kind of like tile seamlessly. All right, go have fun. That's how you can use tile maps using a sprite.